We're here today with some wonderful nursery stock, uh, organic nursery stock, grown by our wonderful Amish friends who are running an organic nursery. Uh, this is a gold rush apple uh, on a Geneva dwarfing rootstock. And today, with the wonderful help of Maddie and Sarah, we had a team here digging some holes. We got about 20 holes here, and we are looking to dig the perfect hole, but let's just figure out what does perfect mean. This hole right here and this tree are perfectly paired. We're looking to dig a hole that's not too deep, but not too shallow, not too wide, but not too small. How do we know these things? Well, this is a one-year uh, tree, and it has both these structural roots as well as these hair roots. This was just dug yesterday, actually. And what we're trying to do is place this tree in the hole so its roots can spread and are not constrained. And, but it also, the tree does not have to actually be that deep. Um, we are looking at the tree is dug, and basically the soil line was about an inch above this last root. And we really don't want the soil to be that much more deep. If you bury a tree too deep, actually that soil contact can cause the bark to rot and actually kill your tree. So we're looking to bring this tree pretty much back to where it was in the nursery. So we have this hole. And when we set the tree in the hole, you can see that the roots have plenty of room to expand in all directions. And I do do a little bit of untangling. Sometimes when we dig these things, they get a little wrapped up with each other. And I'm looking to kind of think, OK, that's about right in terms of using my arm as kind of the flat zone here. And we can see that when we fill this hole in, I might have to lift this up just a little bit and underfill it to make sure we keep that uh, you know, position of where the soil line is going to be. You can also see there's sort of this crum crumbled texture in the hole. Um, when we dig a hole, what you'll see is, is the shovel makes this perfectly smooth side to the hole. This smoothness is actually pretty hard for a root to penetrate eventually. And so what we've done is taking a digging fork and just for a few minutes broken up the side of the hole. And this allows the roots to expand as they grow over the next year or two without basically impacting this pretty dense polished surface. So that's the two steps for digging the hole or started to determine this ratio of about twice, you can see here that if I hold the tree here, I've got about twice the distance from this longest root, this radius. I've got another over here. So this is about two feet. And you can also see that the tree itself actually isn't that big in terms of the depth of the root. There's no point in digging a hole that's two feet deep. You're just basically hurting your back. All you, the tree's not necessarily going to grow any farther than this, and if it wants to, it will. You don't necessarily need to dig the hole deeply. So right here, we've got ourselves this perfect hole. Now we can show you a hole that hasn't been fully prepared. A couple of paces down here. You can see this hole still has that smooth side. We haven't leavened this one. We haven't gone in with the fork um, to break up the sides. So you can see the difference between this hole and this hole. Beautiful. And these trees are ready to plant. And in fact, right behind us, we have a crew of folks putting them in. So we're, we're enjoying this day together. Thank you.